On the first day of rent, Miss the Clear Bull held for us one acorn pod. Thank you for that. This is the 12 Days of Rantmas, by the way. I'm Indicott. That's Eiler. Yep. Thank you for joining us. And our first topic is Christmas shopping on December 23rd. Not a good idea. No. That's what you call procrastinating. Yeah. Unless you're doing like I usually do where you're like donating to a charity in someone's honor. Because you can do that any day of the year. I don't like to give superfluous gifts. Um, like, you know, obviously the best gift is money because then they can get what they want. But what I like to do is I like to buy something or donate somewhere and have it be something that will directly benefit people in need. Like Christmas gifts that I got this year are literally all man can candles. And what that company does is they buy a can of soup and they give the, the soup inside of it to a soup shelter and then they make a candle in, in the can. And that's what I got for my entire family. So if someone gets it, they're like, oh, thank you for the chicken noodle soup candle. No, uh, they have some pretty cool scents. Like the one that I got for myself was uh, Aftershave. It's called Santa's Beard. Uh, one that I got for a member of my family was Campfire. Uh, one that I got for another member of my family uh, was one of the she cans, not man can, and it was called uh, Beautiful. So uh, it was basically this 13 year old kid that was like, I'm tired of candles always smelling girly, so I'm going to make candles that appeal to men. And so he was like, How am I going to do this? And he decided to put it in a soup can because that's kind of like a rugged, you know, it's not a glass jar that'll break. It's like, Yeah, it's a soup can. And he was like, What am I going to do with all this soup? So he just started donating to soup kitchens, and uh, there's over like a hundred thousand <laughs> meals. <laughs> Wait, the, he he wanted to make candles first in soup cans. Yeah, he, yeah. And then he was like, "Well, I don't want the food to go to waste, so oh, yeah. you know we can do something nice with this." It was like backwards was, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I mean, it it doesn't it, it seem works like, out. you know, it doesn't seem like he was like, all right, I'm just going to throw the soup away. I feel like from the beginning, he was like, I'm going to donate the soup because I'm not going to have soup. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Apparently, there's like over 100,000 meals donated. Um, wow. And I think they count like one can of soup as one meal. Um, so, you know, it's pretty cool. It's what it is for me, man. I eat the entire can of soup. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's literally, that's all I got from my entire family because it benefits someone in need. It benefits a soup kitchen. That's cool. But back on the topic of, you know, waiting until the day before Christmas Eve mm -hmm. to, to get some presents. I mean, first off, do the, do prices of toys spike around that time? They're like, if, ah, if the, the store is that, smart, <laughs> I would do. I'd be like, well, y'all lost your chance. Uh, yeah. Time you for had me to the really chance. get out of the red and into the black. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I feel I like never buys it. I always do my shopping on Amazon. That's yeah. You know, I I got family all over. Uh, you know, we don't just get to come to one place every time. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'll I'll do the Amazon Prime thing, and I'm like, bam, mm -hmm. just ship it straight to their house with a yeah. little card inside, and I can like. I could have it wrapped too, but That's it's weird. like five or six bucks <laughs> to get it wrapped. I mean, yeah. how many presents could I wrap for five or six bucks? So I just do the, you know, the regular Amazon festive tape. Yeah. I mean, why would you do anything else ever, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> we hope none of that made sense. If you would like to win this hat... From this episode, you can tweet at Good Choices TV using hashtag IndyCots Hat Contest 1. It's very important that you have the one in there if you want this hat specifically. Uh, we want to see a picture of you wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. The uglier, the yeah. better. After Christmas, we will randomly select a winner. Randomly? Why can't we just be like, dude, this, this shirt's awesome. All right. Maybe we'll pick the ugliest Christmas sweater. Um, and... Uh, you know, every single episode is going to have a different hat, so tune in tomorrow to see if you want that one as well. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.